Well, we saw the Agera last year. Um, the Agera R, speed right. racer. Yes. Um, for a client, I believe. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a client who's a speed racer fan. You know this uh, old uh, series that went in the 60s in the US and it was originally a manga series from Japan. And uh, he wanted the, to, to set up his R with this kind of color theme, which we try to match today then. Uh, but yeah, the Agera R is, 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 is the biofuel version of the Agera with more power and uh, yeah, it's a very exciting car. The, cu the customer is Norwegian, I believe. So biofuel is available, E85 is available in, in, in Scandinavian countries. Yes. And obviously it gives more power. Yes. But when you go kind of run out of power on the streets, I understand there's a ski box and skis and everything else. It seems any, anything is possible, is that right? Yeah, I mean, we, we have this ski box that goes with the car, and uh, it's not only a ski box, it's actually a, a luggage box. It's 300 liters of luggage space that you can bring with you, and you take off the normal roof, put it in the luggage in the front, put your 300 liter of extra luggage, and you can go for a month's trip, trip uh, through Europe. And when you get to, for example, the numbering, you, you undo your, your roof box, put your normal roof back on, have a few laps, and continue down to France. So it kind of puts the hypercar in a new perspective. Yes, it's kind of a gimmick, but it actually makes it possible to use a hypercar completely different uh, than before. As you say, luggage space is always a problem. You either have to have a support vehicle, another car. Yeah. So I guess this kind of puts a new slant on things. Um, but also, this is so much lighter than, say, the Veyron, or, which is often compared to. Um, what are we talking about performance-wise? Well, it's, of course, massive performance as it's so light. We have uh, 1,115 horsepower and uh, 1,200 newton meters of torque. So it does uh, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour under 3 seconds and uh, 0 to 200 in 7.5 seconds. So it's just massive, massive performance. But more than that, it's, it's I mean, the driving experience is very well refined with, with a new tuned suspension with three dampers in the rear. You've got uh, electronic differential, uh, latest generation ABS. Yes. Uh, so, so this is a cross damper here that we're seeing, basically yes. like a strap brace that you normally would have on the front of a car. You've also uh, got it on the rear, or it, it's it's something you start to see on the latest generation Formula cars. It gives a, a, a third dimension of, of setup possibilities, where you actually link the left and right hand wheel with the spring and the shock absorbers to unload the normal set of, of springs and shock absorbers. So you get a third dimension of setup, and it's, of course also mostly acts as a very good anti-squat when needed. Right, so the car doesn't dig in to the same degree, it, it remains slightly more pliable than yeah, a, than except, a except than you when you wanted to dig in, for example for takeoff, then the valving is set so it actually does sit, settle down and take off very nicely. And do you have all the fancy gizmos, the launch control and things like that, or is this a, a brutal race? Oh. Car. We actually have anything you can imagine almost. We have uh, satellite navigation, MP3 player, uh, reverse camera, uh, uh, power meters, uh, power steering, power brakes, hydraulic lifting systems, air conditioning, power windows, you name it. And uh, uh, what's quite amazing is we have all of this in, in a very light package of only one, uh, 1,330 kilos. Yeah, we've been looking at the Aventador. Obviously, that's become like the buzz car of this launch, as well as the Agera. Um, and, you know, again, you look at that and you think, well, the body in white only weighs X hundred kilos. And you still start thinking, well, where's the other ton? Um, you know, as you say, there's a lot of extra stuff that goes in on, on crash and homologation and everything else um, that makes car, cars really heavy nowadays. And it's great to see someone as pure as yourself coming through with such a lightweight vehicle um, that doesn't sort of compromise on, on the comforts as well. Right. We, we have pretty much every creature comfort you can imagine. So. We've got to get to the point of cost now. Yes. Um, where do we start? And I guess it, you can finish wherever you want, depending on the specification. Pretty much. You can have a full visible carbon and uh, unique uh, features inside. But, but uh, a basic Agera is €860,000 plus VAT. And an Agera R starts at €990,000. How many, how many do you think you're going to make? Uh, I mean, traditionally we make uh, 12, 15 cars a year. And, and uh, I think we will continue doing that. And will Bugatti let you use their track to test it? I, I would hope so, but I'm not <laughs> sure. It would be nice. It would be, really it nice. Would be nice.